today's my topic is the controversy of religion in the Dalji code and the satanic verses. The Dalji code and satanic verses uh, somehow uh, uh, were connected uh, with the concept of religion and uh, controversy. Uh, the Dalji code is a 2003 novel written by Dan Brown, a uh, mystery thriller that. Uh, Jacksonian murder and leaves a secret of Holy Grail and then uh, Robert Langdon and Sophie Neo uh, try to reveal their, uh, that secret uh, and uh, we have seen that uh, secret of Holy Grail, uh, Mary Mabelle. So uh, this uh, novel about uh, Christianity and uh, the author uh, who in interpret uh, the religious text. Uh, in similar way, the satanic verses also uh, like that the fourth novel written by Salman Rajdi. Uh, uh, this novel is uh, uh, Salman Rajdi uh, rely on contemporary events and people to create his character. Uh, there, are, there are two characters, uh, Gabriel Farishta and Samja, who is the uh, Indian descendant uh, actor who uh, fly to London and in between they are trapped in uh, plane hijacking. Then uh, Rajdi used uh, magical uh, realism and uh, after that uh, their uh, there are uh, very important three dream sequences. Uh, in that uh, dream sequence, which uh, they uh, interpreted, and uh, 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 in those dream, uh, uh, dreams become a controversy uh, about religion. So elements of controversy in the novel, the Dalji God and Satanic verses. In the Dalji God, they we can see that the Holy Grail, uh, Mary Magdalene, uh, 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 Dan Brown used uh, this, uh, the character of Mary Magdalene and uh, then uh, uh, the controversy began uh, among the people and uh, other side the satanic verses, uh, blasphemy of Prophet uh, Muhammad and uh, there are uh, mention of Allah's three daughters, there are Allah uh, Uzza and Manna, they, they believe that uh, they uh, are they were the pagan goddesses uh, before Islam. And also we can see that the, uh, the original uh, text from the Quran that uh, in the third line uh, it uh, said that he neither begets nor is born. So uh, it means that uh, God uh, never be born from any others or uh, the God uh, never uh, give born to others. So uh, in this uh, we, uh, we know uh, we don't judge that uh, this is uh, novel's uh, uh, interpretation is right or the Quranic verses. And uh, we, have, uh, we will watch two videos about the controversy or uh, uh, protest against the books and uh, movie. So it is Dalji protest and answer of the... In just two weeks, the Da Vinci Code movie will be all over the world. In the Eternal City, the media blitz has already begun. The film is based on Dan Brown's bestseller, which the Vatican has harshly criticized. So the media blitz is very happy, eh? It's certainly disturbing that no respect is being shown for the hundreds of millions of people who believe in Christ, the Church, and the Gospels. But it's the result of ignorance and arrogance. According to the author, Christ is not divine. He's a regular person. The plot has ruffled many feathers, and not just Catholic ones. It's a text for a millennium, which is common and common, and where we have exactly our same responsibility if there is a responsibility to take as the Roman Catholic Church. The Church has also criticized the way the novel presents Catholics. It presents uh, some elements of the Catholic Church as criminals, uh, but also as stupid criminals. They're the killer and uh, the superior who runs around with a suitcase full of notes which are clearly identifiable. It is a farce. What worries the Vatican most is the author's claim that the book is based on historical fact. Okay, it's a good idea. Certainly, revisionist history should be condemned and courageously rejected because the church is only interested in history and the truth. So, in this way, uh, church, the um, Roman um, church rejected this idea of Mary Magdalene and what uh, uh, have been written in this uh, novel. So, in, uh, in similar
similar way, the centering was also a uh, uh, controversy of uh, religion. And in this, uh, after this uh, book, uh, people also protest uh, against the book. So we will watch uh, again the video of the protest. was to change forever. His novel, The Satanic Verses, inspired Iran's spiritual leader, Mufala Khomeini, to wish for Fatma a death warrant. He declared the book blasphemous. The strength of feeling about Rushdie's book resulted in death threats to the author almost as soon as Satanic Verses came out. The call to arms triggered mass protests from London to Islamabad and closed down the space and debate around Islam in a way many would say still resonates today. Rushdie embarked on a life of high security and was often in hiding. He survived the fatwa, others did not. Protesters attacked the cultural centre in Islamabad. Six people were killed in clashes with police. Translators of the novel were attacked and died. The dangerous faces have been graphically illustrated by attacks on translators of his novel, this at a press conference last year, and by the murder of the Japanese translator just four months ago. The political climate at the time proves critical to understand the context. It might be apparent here that happening in Ukraine the Iranian Iranian revolution was just a decade old, and the Soviet Union was on the verge of collapse after being driven out of Afghanistan by the US-backed Mujahideen. Because person by person, uh, history will be changed. Thank you. 